Rebecca Ferguson, a former X Factor contestant, sobbed today when asserting that contestants on ITV reality programs are the victims of bullying and brainwashing. The singer, who finished in second place on the popular show's 2010 season, claimed that reality television programs manipulate and exploit individuals from difficult situations. She also discussed her own career in detail, claiming that behind the scenes, she had gone through things that she wouldn't wish on my worst enemy and that she had been pressured into contracts I didn't want to sign. It follows her claiming she was under fire. After she wrote to the channel in 2021 requesting it to look into standards of conduct and post-show aftercare for its reality series after three Love Island stars, including Carol in Flack, took their own deaths, ITV CEO Dame Carolyn McCall fobbed her off to her deputy. The Liverpool-born musician, however, claimed that Dame Carolyn did not respond to her request and that she instead received a letter from ITV's chief operating officer, Sarah Clark informing her that no investigation would be conducted and stating that the network adheres to a duty of care charter while expressing regret for any negative experiences its stars may have had. But now that this morning has been rocked by the Philip Schofield affair, Ms. Ferguson has reaffirmed her call for an investigation. The 36-year-old opened out on how she thinks reality actors are handled behind the scenes during a Twitter Space live stream today. She remarked, you turn on that Saturday night television program, and that's your getaway, and you're like, wow, their lives are changing. And then it bursts the bubble when someone comes out and says it was very toxic and abusive. Saying, oh wow, your life is s asterisk asterisk c2 would be analogous. People find the illusion to be so lovely, therefore when it is removed, people become quite agitated. Despite having a really good career and being able to live the dream, Ms. Ferguson claimed that what was happening to me behind the scenes I would not wish on my worst enemy. You can't have your cake and eat it, too, she said, and just hear the lovely stuff and not the unpleasant stuff. There is a perception that wanting to be a singer means you want the celebrity that goes along with it, bullying and pressuring me into contracts I don't want to sign shouldn't accompany it, I came from a working-class family and was given this chance, which had been my ambition since I was a little girl, even though I was a single mother of one at age 23 and didn't have a pot to urinate in. The musician claimed that she first believed it to be the best thing in the world and all your dreams come true, but when appearing on the program, she saw things I didn't like and I tried to say something. Before criticizing the show's lack of support, she continued by saying that at such a young age she was not able to understand the business world and those types of contracts. But why was I supposed to handle it? She questioned. To ensure that I wasn't being taken advantage of, measures need to have been in place, I was only trying to escape poverty. Why are individuals abusing people on these shows? You must inquire. Working class individuals frequently participate, and their backgrounds are difficult. They are hand-selected due to manipulation and shaping. What I would advise is to apply pressure to IDV since an inquiry is necessary and should be conducted if there is nothing to hide. The mother of two sobbed as she begged the channel to look into her accusations. All I know is that if I were accused of something and had the means, I would deny the accusation and provide the results of the inquiry. Although it has been so hard throughout the years, Ms. Ferguson has gotten support despite her feeling that the characters on the series were brainwashed. She said, A lot of things concerning safety are just basic courtesy, and it's awful that you have to urge people to act properly, someone are afraid to call someone out since it has been permitted to continue. This new record will not be harmful since it is being released on my terms. Instead of being ambiguous, I've now given the program a name and there will undoubtedly be an inquiry. Both Katie Wasel and I are advocating for it. I believe it is necessary since they have gotten away with it for such a long time and are unaware of the effects it has had on people's lives. ITV must own up to its actions and admit that they exploited the situation and should not have handled the individuals in that way. Only then can we get closure. Because it played such a significant role in our lives, closure is something I and others need. You must respect the participants, was the instruction.
She has also urged Dame Caroline Dineenage, head of the Culture, Media, and Sport Committee, to commission an investigation into the channel's safeguarding policies and other practices. ITV said in a statement that it has subsequently provided producers of shows with guidelines on how they should handle participation. ITV pledged to put in place the necessary procedures to safeguard the welfare and mental health of program participants. We have continued to develop and reinforce our strategy, and we expect all producers of commissioned programs to have appropriate procedures in place to look after the participants' mental health as well as their physical safety. To guarantee that the welfare of every participant in IDV programs is effectively secured, these processes and procedures will vary from program to program. IDV, a broadcaster and content commissioner, provides guidance on what we consider to be best practice in the selection of participants before filming, in supporting them during filming, and in continuing to support them up until and after the broadcast of the program. However, the practical detailed processes required to manage participant welfare in each program must rest with the producers themselves. In our correspondence with Rebecca, we emphasize that participant welfare is IDV's top priority, which is reflected in our duty of care charter and the in-depth guidelines that all producers can now access to make sure that participants' welfare is properly protected on all of our programs. In its response to Rebecca, IDV stated, the producers have presented us with material outlining their plans involving welfare, aftercare, legal guidance, and management at the time of Rebecca's involvement. Duty of care is of the highest concern to us, and we always take contributor welfare extremely seriously, a spokeswoman for the X Factor stated. There were effective measures in place during the 2010 season of the X Factor to ensure that everyone involved in the program was supported throughout their experience and beyond. These measures included a dedicated welfare team made up of psychologists, doctors, welfare producers, and independent legal and management advisors with no time limit on aftercare once the show had aired. It follows Philip Schofield's abrupt resignation from this morning due to his connection with a young runner on the program, which raised concerns about how IDV handled the situation and led to claims that the show had a toxic atmosphere. ITV executives were under pressure to reveal what they knew and when about the veteran presenter's affair, but they declined to discuss the probe they claimed to have conducted in 2020 when questioned by the mail. The station later said that it was hiring a lawyer to carry out an external review to establish the facts following a crisis staff meeting last week. Dame Carolyn claims the presenter lied to her. She has been asked to testify in front of the parliament on how the broadcaster handles complaints and child safety. Ms. Ferguson, who claims she is bound by non-disclosure agreements after appearing on ITV, wrote to Dame Caroline on the Culture Committee and stated, I'm tied by several NDAs but I cannot continue to not live in my full truth. Staying silent is worse I've gone through hell for years. I sent an email to IDV's top leadership team on March 11, 2021, requesting for a review of reality programs, covering codes of behavior, post-show aftercare, and managerial independence. ITV Casera Clark apologized for any PO experiences she may have had personally but declined to look into the matter further. Instead, she insisted that they follow a duty of care charter and that these protocols are already in place. After Love Island anchor Ms. Flack committed suicide in February 2020, Dame Carolyn appeared to refuse to look into the channel's reality series. Prior to that, Love Island participants Mike Talasidis and Sophie Gradin committed suicide in June 2018 and March 2019, respectively. She truly feels that certain individuals have been treated pretty terribly throughout the years that ITV has been producing reality shows, according to a person close to Ms. Ferguson, ITV has profited from strong viewership and significant advertising money as a result of these programs but occasionally this has resulted in less than ideal treatment of people. Rebecca was upset that Carolyn didn't investigate it since it seemed like she didn't want to hear it and she had her deputy simply brush Rebecca off with the same old garbage. It is no longer acceptable. Following her success on The X Factor, Ms. 
Ferguson went to the Metropolitan Police in 2021 to report charges of harassment and coercive control against a senior male industry figure. She believes that while trying to further her profession, she was targeted. She also spoke with Oliver Dowden, a former cultural secretary, to explore issues facing the sector.